nothing's going to happen. That's why I have plastic plants in my house. <laughs> because I refuse to water them. That's why I gave up with the garden. Julie's godmother would come over. I was all happy. We go buy all the plants. Miss Jenny's go out there and be helping dig. And somebody, Mr. Triplett, tilled the soil, and I was looking. Miss Jenny's planted the plants for me. And oh, they look so nice, Miss Jenny's. And then she bought the little stuff over there that, that weed killed, and she had all kind of fertilizers. I looked. Oh, they were doing so good. But then she left me the garden. I would wake up, I said, Joni, go water my garden. Well, he wouldn't wake up. I said, well, okay, I'm going to go back to sleep too. And then one day I went there and looked at my garden. It didn't look good. It was all dried up. It wasn't hardly anything coming through the ground. Or the ground was hard. And then I finally got a revelation. I need to go to the farmer's market and don't plant any more gardens because I wasn't going to take care of it. Well, hopefully that's not like your spiritual life. Huh? Y'all hear me? Some people want somebody else to water their garden, to weed their garden, to put the fertilizer on there, and you wonder why you don't have no garden. Have you prayed today? Did you read your Bible? Have you been faithful to God? Have you done your daily disciplines and devotion? No, Pastor. I just looked at TV. Honey, that's pre-digested word. That's not for you. Open your Bible and get to know God for yourself. You can't live off. I love Joyce Myers, too, and, and Bishop Jake, but listen, they already got the word. You need the word. Turn off the TV and read your own Bible and get your own revelation. Talking about walking with God. Enoch didn't even have a Bible. And the Bible says he walked with God. And then God took him. We got Bibles. And what level are we on right now? Help me. I'll leave that alone right now. Let me move on. So God began to speak to me about the call. Everybody say the call. The call. See, the first call in your life, you're called to God. You must be born again to fulfill your potential. Let me say it over here. You must be born again. You have to receive Jesus. Repent and believe the gospel. You have to receive Jesus Christ the Savior. God didn't call you to be religious. He didn't call you to buy no church membership. This is not a club. We're not paying dues. We're in the church, the living organism, the body of Christ. It's a living body. We're lively stone. We're being built into a spiritual priesthood. God is working on a building. He's chiseling on us every time we come here. God is working on us. He said, I got a call in your life. First, you've been called to salvation. Then I called you to this church so I can plant you in the house of God so I can feed you with understanding so you can grow. God, don't, God does not want you to pastor yourself. We got people who think they can pastor themselves. I stayed at home and fed myself, pastor. You must be born again to fulfill your potential. Now that you're born again, Matthew 2.15, turn there for your own reference. I'm not going to turn there, but I'll read it. And Jesus was there in Egypt until the death of Herod, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Out of Egypt I have called my son. So he calls you to salvation. Next thing he calls you out of Egypt. See, we're still trying to get Egypt out of folks. Y'all heard that saying, you, you can take the people out of the country, but you can't get the country out of them. We're trying to get some Egypt out of you right now. You need the word to get the Egypt out of you. With no words, you'll act fleshly and carnal. You'll act just like a sinner, but you'll be saved, and you'll be grieving the Holy Spirit within. You'll be saying, I feel so miserable. I'm always depressed. What's wrong? I, I just feel dark. What have you been eating spiritually? Well, I just watch television, and I'm in everybody's conversation. That's what's wrong with you. You've been eating the wrong thing. You've been eating spiritual darkness. Instead of getting your mind renewed, you're getting your mind reworld. You know, as the world turns, you get your mind reworld. So, so he said, I called you out of Egypt. And then when you read in Matthew 2, 23, and he came and dwelt in a city called Nazareth, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophets. He shall be called a Nazarene. So now what? He, he called you to himself. He called you to salvation. He called you out of Egypt. Now he's going to call you to a place. You got to be in the right place to get your blessing. You got to be at the right job to get blessed. You got to be in the right profession to get blessed. Some of us have missed God. We're afraid to make changes. God is saying, stretch. I want you to enlarge. Go back to school. I want you to get a degree. I want you to get your high school diploma. I want you to get your GED. I want you to do something. But what you're doing is not what I called you to do. Huh? The next call. Now, this is major for ministers. This the apostles. It says, 
I believe this is in uh, Matthew 2. I didn't put the reference down, but it's verse 18. And Jesus, walking by the Sea of Galilee, saw two brethren, Simon called Peter and Andrew, his brother, casting the net into the sea, for they were fishers. Notice, they were already fishermen. Their father had mentored them, had trained them in a trade already. They weren't sitting around doing nothing, praying. Y'all hear me? Some folks want a job. They say, God don't call me. He ain't called you to sit around and do nothing. He ain't called you to sit around and pray for no 10 years. They were already fishermen. They were already working, bringing in trade, taking care of home. So you see, God will place you in a family. Your father or your mother may mentor you and train you in a profession. All right. Thank you for watching the broadcast. We hope you were blessed, and I know you were. Amen. Amen. If you have a prayer request or if you would like for us to introduce Jesus Christ to you as Savior and Lord, please call. There's a wonderful, loving prayer partner on the phone. Now, until next time, remember to keep Jesus Christ your solid rock.